This is why you want Brad Marchand on your team. When Brad's longtime BFF Patrice Bergeron took a greasy high hit behind the play, that's all the invitation he needed to go for a dance with Pitlick. Brad immediately points about, skates away from the puck, gloves off, jumps Pitlick, wrestling him to the ground and giving him a couple of shots. It's a bit of an ouchie for Pitlick, but that's exactly what you get when you have Brad Marchand on your team. He goes to battle for the boys every night, both as an enforcer slash pest, mostly pest honestly, and a point a game score, which is a truly remarkable combination. He wasn't the only one to get a little scrappy for the bees last night either, as AJ Greer got five minutes later in the first for a cross check to the face of Mike Hoffman. You can't do that. But between two original six clubs, that's the kind of greasy game we got that we expect, and it went both ways. First goal of the game was scored by Bertuzzi, who got high sticked behind the net after he scored. That's probably the closest thing to an and one in the NHL. He scores while the other team commits a foul, giving his team an advantage to score more points. Close enough. Boston did not convert on the and one, which drew some sad Celtics noises. But back to hockey and Jake DeBrusque would score a nice goal at the end of a Habs power play that saw two defenders collide, his fourth in four games. Past scored the eventual game winner, which sets a new career high in goals for him in a season at 49, and the Bruins would take the game for two. The Bruins keep winning, and Brad seems to be excited for playoffs as he's been on one lately. And I mean, say what you will about the guy, that is how you respond to someone taking a cheap shot on your captain away from the puck. Speaking of cheap shots, though, he was later asked to give an injury update on Nick Foligno, and he said, still old, still bald. But what's your favorite Marshawn and Bruin moment this year so far? Let us know all of that and more down below.